This is BBC One. Now, a party election broadcast by the Green Party. I'm Jim Alvin, vote for anybody at the minute. I'm being honest about it. There's, there's no difference between left and right. There's a lot of corruption going on both, with Labour and Conservative. I won't be voting for either. If you don't vote, then you can't vote who's him, can you? Because our vote just carries some weight, I think. Look what happened last time, though. Uh, he did. We've done Labour thing. Actually, these politicians have lost touch. They don't seem to be saying anything about the world I live in, or you live in, or millions of people live in. What have they got to say to ordinary people in the street? Because the example they're setting is falling far short. And what the Greens are doing is saying, look, another world is possible. You know, we don't have to swallow the lies we're being told. Really, the Greens are about trying to actually tell it how it is. As Green Party MEP for London, I've seen what the Greens can do elected at local level throughout the country. We believe in keeping things local and there for the benefit of everyone. And that's what we will be fighting for in these local elections. This is a chance for electors to put in place decent people who are going to serve their interests. The Green Party has members of the European Parliament, members of the Greater London Authority and councils elected across the country. Here in Oxford we have 12 Green City and County Councillors. Well, I guess I think that the local elections provide a really crucial opportunity for the Greens to get their message across on doorsteps up and down the country. And I think what's exciting is that once you get one Green elected to a council, it's clear that people like what they get, they elect more, and so we're getting stronger and stronger. We have got solar panels um, on the roofs of uh, our public buildings, on the roofs of hundreds of houses, and over 5% of the country's solar electricity is generated in Huddersfield. The Green Party is not just about saving the planet, but it can also be about saving people money off their council tax bills. Greens all over the country and councils are already implementing these policies. What's needed is for everybody to get behind the Greens so that we can invest in renewables, invest in energy savings, so that our grandchildren will thank us instead of being left with a huge tax bill. We can't leave it until the petrol stations have run out of petrol or until the floods are our back door. We cannot leave it till then because it's too late. We need to do stuff about it now. Which is why when those gas and electricity prices went up by nearly 25%, people started thinking, oh, renewable energy. Only the green councillors are saying that we need to protect our school playing fields and our green spaces from development. And only the green councillors are saying we should protect independent and local businesses from large new shopping malls and from new supermarkets. Elected Greens here in London have actually put food onto the political agenda. We've made sure that there's money to help train school cooks, for example, but we're also extremely concerned about helping people out of food poverty. This is our local leisure centre. Labour wants to close it down. As a Green Council, I've been involved in the campaign to keep it open. And if we get more Green Councils around the country, then we can play a vital role in protecting other local services too. People don't want five or six hospitals or schools to choose from. They want a top-class local service, local to their community, to meet their needs. Just imagine the billions Tony Blair spent on fighting an illegal, immoral, unjust war. Just imagine putting that money some of the money into education, into the NHS, into the transport system. If the Greens got to me, and then I, I, it, made, it made a difference to me, then I would vote for them. Right now, I'd vote for them. I'm voting for the Green Party. Why? Because I don't feel there's a point in voting for any other, because they all sound a bit the same. Tony Blair's lost his way, and it's all gone a bit wrong. So I'm thinking about the planet's environment now. Would you not consider voting for the Green Party, no? No. No. Yeah, I would, actually. Yeah, I really would consider voting for them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably because their policies are closer to my beliefs anyway than uh, Labour or Tories or the Lib Dems. It's vitally important that people do vote Green on May the 4th. Greens on local councils up and down the country are already making a difference. And if we can get some more, we can make an even bigger difference. That means a better local community, it means a better local environment, and it means a better global environment too. On May the 4th, if you've got a chance to vote Green, you can make a real difference to your life and to the life of the community you live in. So please, vote Green and make a difference. That was a party election broadcast by the Green Party.